Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I am a Whovian and today I review Doctor Who, Terror of the Autons. <laughs> So in this, the Autons return, you know, one year later after the incident with from Spearhead from Space. So the Autons come back and this time they don't just take over as window shop dummies, they also take over as plastic toys and plastic objects and plan to invade. We also get the Master in this, played by the great Roger Delgado, also in this intervening and also you know, parting with the Autons with this and the Master just comes to cause trouble as well and also work alongside the Autons to achieve some goal of world domination. And we also get the introduction of Joe Grant in this. So yeah, the Autons plan to invade and cause terror by taking over all that is plastic. So that's the story there. So what did I like about this one? Well, I liked that this was a serial that pushed boundaries because I believe in 1971 when this serial aired kids were absolutely terrified you know they were scared to take their toys to bed they became scared of toys altogether not just plastic toys but toys in general and I believe the BBC received a lot of complaints for that so after that one they were pretty much careful with what they you know, broadcast with monsters on the show. I mean, the Autons were scary before when kids would like avoid shop window shops with dummies in them because they thought they were Autons. But um, yeah, this time they go all out with the Autons, having them, because they are living, breathing plastic aliens and they are, you know, they don't just take over plastic dummies, they take over plastic objects. So, I thought the Autons were pretty good in this. Some of the visuals were a bit poor, but they were they were more alright for their time. They were practical stuff, so I like that they went practical in this. Um, especially, but the scenes where they like removed the Autons like fake faces, revealing their true faces, that was pretty poor because you could tell it were a mask. Uh, this was also the introduction of Katie Manning as Joe Grant. So this was Joe Grant's first appearance where she got the job as the Doctor's assistant at uni because this was during the Doctor's exile on Earth and he had to take a job up at uni. We also got Nicholas Courtney in there as the Brigadier but this also is the debut of the Doctor's arch nemesis. The Master, played by Roger Delgado, and he was just fantastic. He was a show stealer, and he was a fun villain. And at that time when they were writing Doctor Who, Terence Dix and Robert Holmes, Terence Dix being the script editor and Robert Holmes being the you know, writer of this story, they thought the Doctor's kind of like the Sherlock Holmes of today. We've got the Doctor who's like Sherlock, we've got the Brigadier who's like his Watson. They thought we've got to give him a Moriarty. And the two put their heads together and they were like, you know, Robert Holmes was like, I got the perfect enemy. And Terence Dix was like, I got the perfect name, the Master. And he's gone on to be a reoccurring presence throughout the show, throughout its, you know, from 1971 all the way out to its original run. Even in the revival era, the Masters made a return and is a well-known frenemy of the, of the Doctors. But Roger Delgado was the first actor to play the Master, even though he was, I believe, in his 13th body, his 12th body. He didn't have as many regenerations as the Doctor, let's put it like that. But, you know, his menacing stature, his beard, his evil charms, just just worked and I thought he was brilliant and after that Roger Delgado actually went on to be a reoccurring presence on the show I believe the following season appearing in every single story of that season you know getting up to his old tricks and everything and I just loved that that he went on to become a, a series regular as well and 
yeah, I love the on-screen presence between him and John Pertwee playing the Doctor and the Master, because even though they were enemies in real life, they were great friends, and also Katie Manning went on to say that they were like her acting mentors, and yeah, they, you know, I, I can tell that the cast were doing good work and having fun at the same time, and I just loved that. But of course, there were some scenes in it that were probably risky at the time, like the bit where a plastic daffodil squirts plastic out onto like Joe's face, and she's starting to like have a plastic bag over her face, and she's like struggling to breathe. I thought that scene was pretty graphic, probably for that time as well, 1971. But I mean, stuff like that nowadays we are tolerable in the show. But 1971, you've got to think it was a different time. But, um, yeah, I thought this was a pretty decent serial. Four episodes long, and, what was it, six? Either way, I didn't get bored with this one. I was full and entertained. The first scene we get is the Master arriving at a circus and making his introduction, saying, I am usually referred to as the Master. And it's like, is that so? Universally. I just love that. I just love Roger Delgado as the Master. He was perfect. Just everything about this story was enjoyable. You know, Robert Holmes just nailed it with this one. And the Master, just a brilliant creation from them too. Terence Dix and Robert Holmes. So ratings, what am I going to rate this one? I'll give the performances, you know what, the hell with it. I'll give the performances a 10. The visuals, I'll give them an 8. The writing, a 9. And my personal, I'll give it a 9 because this is a great one. I love it so there you go there is my review for this you know show for this serial of Doctor Who so have you seen Terror of the Autons what do you think to it do you like it do you not like it let me know down in the comments below and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell I've been Davros the Whovian and this has been a Who Review so until next time and for your life.